Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing straight lines and uh, this is a lecture number 5. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 4 before watching this part 5. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the different form of uh, equations and let me discuss with this. There is a slope intercept form, different form of equations. We are discussing different form of equations forms of equations of line equation of line right so the first one is here a slope intercept form slope intercept form right what is this equation of line is slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus c where m is slope of the line slope of the line and c is called y intercept y intercept intercept means equation of line will be like a if there is a line say and uh, this line is given here that is x axis x dash y and y dash the, this is a line equation of line is given as y intercept means it will intersect y axis at distance it will intersect y axis at distance c from origin so this is an origin and this is c and that is called y intercept so this coordinate of this point will be 0 comma c and slope is m given so equation of line equation of line through through 0 c 0 comma c with slope m with slope m is given by is given by what y minus y1 one point form we can use it y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 x1 is 0 so what is that y is equal to this is mx and minus c will come this side it will be plus c so this is the equation of line in slope intercept form c is intercept y intercept means the distance uh, from where from origin where line intersect y axis c is called y intercept it means it is a distance from origin where line intersect y axis c is called y intercept y intercept it means it means it is the distance is the distance from origin from origin where line intersect line intersect intersect y axis that is called y intercept right the next one is called intercept form equation of line in intercept form intercept form that was slope intercept form but this one is called intercept form and what is that equation of line is equation of line is is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 where a and b are called where a and b are called x intercept intercept and y intercept respectively and y intercept intercept respectively respectively right here the line will be uh, 
x intercept and y intercept question of line can be like this and uh, if a line crosses this and x intercept and y intercept that is intersection of point from x axis and y axis at distance a and b respectively this is x axis this one is y axis this one is origin if this point is a comma 0 and this point is 0 comma b this distance from here is only a and the distance from here is b so that is why a and b are called x intercept and y intercept respectively here uh, but equation of line because it passes through line passes through two points a 0 and 0 b so therefore equation of line equation of line passes through line passes through passage through a0 and 0b is given by two point form given by y minus y1 y1 is 0 <coughs> then y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 x minus x1 this is what the equation of line by two point form we have learned it and that will be nothing else but y is equal to minus b by a x minus a so we can write here that a y is equal to a will come this side minus b multiply by x minus b x plus a b this imply we can say b x plus a y is equal to a b if we divide by a b both the sides then what will happen this will be a b plus a y upon a b is equal to a b divided by a b this employee here b b cancel here a a cancel and what is left x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 and this is the required equation of line i hope you got it the required equation of line so equation of line is like this only okay equation of line is this now the third type of equation is called in normal form next type of equation is called normal form let us discuss this normal form or perpendicular form or perpendicular form. perpendicular form right what is that normal form or perpendicular form equation of line is here equation of line is equation of line is is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to p where p is p is length of perpendicular length of perpendicular from origin to the line from origin to the line and alpha is an angle an angle made by perpendicular made by perpendicular with x axis perpendicular with x axis with x axis so here is a uh, line this is a line and you is the length of perpendicular from origin to this line and alpha is an angle made by perpendicular with x axis now uh, give them name of these points a and this one is say b so what will happen in triangle if this triangle here p m is said o m b in triangle o m b this is p and we want to find o b o b is what hypotenuse and for this angle this one is perpendicular so this one is base so cos sec alpha is equal to what is that sec alpha is ob upon hypotenuse upon base that is p so therefore ob is equal to p sec alpha so if this one is alpha this must be 90 minus alpha and because this one is 90 minus alpha so that must be equal to alpha in triangle amo 
इन ट्रेंगल ए एम ओ और ओ एम ए इन ट्रेंगल ओ एम ए कोसेक अल्फा इज इक्वल टू कोसेक अल्फा कोसेक अल्फा इज इक्वल टू वट इज दैट कोसेक अल्फा इज इक्वल टू फॉर दिस एंगल दिस इज ए परपेंडिकुलर एंड दिस वन ओ इज हाइपोटेनस सो हाइपोटेनस अपॉन बी सो देयर फोर ओ बी इज ओ इज इक्वल टू ओ इज इक्वल टू पी कोसेक अल्फा now oa is p cosec alpha so coordinate of oa will be p cosec alpha isn't it to zero comma p cosec alpha coordinate of p will a will be zero comma p cosec alpha and since ob is equal to p sec alpha so coordinate of b will be g p sec alpha comma zero y coordinate is zero so that will be p cosec sec alpha p sec alpha comma j so that is x intercept ob is given and y intercept is oa given so equation of line equation of line in intercept form therefore equation of line in intercept form is what given by equation of line is given by what is that x upon x intercept that is oa y upon y intercept that is ob is equal to 1 and now putting the value of a and b that is p sec alpha plus y is equal on p cosec alpha is equal to 1 this means sec alpha will come in numerator it will be cos alpha so x cos alpha upon p Similarly, cosec alpha is the reciprocal of sine alpha, so y sine alpha upon p is equal to one, and now p is LCM, so we can multiply by p, and what will happen? X cosec cos alpha plus y sine alpha is equal to p. This is the equation. This is the equation of line. Equation of line, where symbol has been already explained, and I hope you got it. that what the meaning of symbol is alpha is an angle made by line with positive direction of x axis and by made by perpendicular with positive direction of x axis and p is the length of perpendicular from origin to the line so this derivation is uh, you no need to remember all the derivations you can just uh, remember the uh, equation of line but uh, uh, without understanding uh, if you remember the equation of line Uh, you will be not able to apply it where and how it will be uh, applied. So that is why you should understand and memorize this equation. Now, uh, starting with questions, and as we have started with questions uh, in the previous video, and this is exercise ten point exercise ten point two related questions. What we have learned today, and uh, let us start from question number eight. the question number 8 is there and what is the question perpendicular distance from origin to the perpendicular distance from origin to the line perpendicular find the equation of line it is given here like find the equation of line find the equation of line equation of line which perpendicular distance from origin perpendicular distance from origin distance from origin origin is 5 unit 5 unit and angle made by perpendicular and angle made by perpendicular perpendicular With positive direction of x-axis, positive direction of x-axis, direction of x-axis is 30 degree. Right now, so equation of line you have to calculate. So it means clearly here P is alpha is 30 degree and P is 5. And putting the value, we know equation of line in perpendicular form because it is perpendicular already given mentioned so equation of line 
is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha is equal to 3 and therefore this employee x cos 30 plus y sin 30 is equal to 5 putting in this and y sin 30 cos 30 is what cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so root 3 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 y is equal to 5 and therefore this can be written as root 3x plus y is equal to 10 and this is the equation of line this is the equation of line so i hope you got it now the next question is question number 9 question number 9 is given the vertices of triangle pqr the vertices of triangle pqr vertices of triangle pqr are p 2 comma 1 Q minus 2 comma 3 and R 4 comma 5 4 comma 5 right now, now uh, it is given that find the equation of median through vertex R find the equation of equation of median median through vertex R through vertex R through vertex r right now. vertex r so we can have a triangle and triangle is like a, this is a triangle right and in this triangle if it is written here that this is a this is b and a pqr is given pqr so this is nothing else but it is given pqr so R is P Q R. Here P, this is Q and this is R. Coordinate of P is given 2 comma 1. Coordinate of Q is given what? Minus 2 comma 3. And coordinate of R is 4 comma 5. So what median is what? Median is a line which uh, intersect the opposite sides in two equal parts. So if this is a median, say P m is a median so that will divide this so m must be midpoint since let m be the midpoint of pq solution we can write here let m be the midpoint of midpoint of line segment line segment pq and then coordinate of m is coordinate of m is given by x1 plus x2 therefore coordinate of m coordinate of m is given by is given by what x1 plus x2 by 2 so 2 plus minus 2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so 1 plus 3 divided by 2 that is what 2 plus minus 2 is 0 by 2 is 0 and 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 by 2 is 2 that is 0 comma 2. So coordinate of this is 0 comma 2. Now we have to find the equation of median Rm. Now to find equation of median, to find equation of median of median Rm R 4 comma 5 and m 0 to rm passing through median passing through passing through r 0 4 comma 5 and 0 comma 2 is given by is given by two point form and what is two point form two point form is y minus y1 y minus y1 is 5 say and y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus 5 upon 0 minus 4 x minus x1 and that will come y minus 5 is equal to minus 3 upon minus 4 that is 3 by 4 and x minus 4 so finally it will comes like 4y minus 20 is equal to 3x minus 12 
and therefore 3x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0. This is the required equation of line. This is the required equation of line. So this is required equation of the required equation of median equation of median rm means median through vertex r i hope you got it now the next question is next question is question number 10 and question number 10 is given here that uh, find the equation of line find let me start with the new page find the equation of line 10th question find the equation of line passing through find the equation of line equation of line passing through passing through equation of line passing through minus 3 comma 5 and perpendicular to the line and perpendicular to the line through perpendicular to the line through perpendicular to the line through the points points 2 comma 5 and minus 3 comma 6 right so we have to find the equation of line perpendicular to the line that means uh, there is one line passing through these two points right now these two points and that is perpendicular here one point is line is there line is there but this must passing through these two points that is 2 comma 5 and minus 3 comma 6 say these points are a and b we have to find the equation of line that is perpendicular to equation of line passing through this and perpendicular to this equation of line is passing through what point point is given point is given minus 3 comma 5 so point is minus 3 comma 5 this is a point where it passes and perpendicular to this line segment so say this is a c c is the line which pass through this so slope of and this is a point of intersection say cd so slope solution is we can find the slope of line slope of line ab ab is m1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 that is 6 minus 5 is 1 upon minus 5 that is minus 1 upon 5 slope of if slope of cd is m2 if slope of cd is m2 then m1 m2 must be equal to minus 1 since why this is so ab is perpendicular to cd or cd is perpendicular to ab the same thing since cd is perpendicular to ab product of slopes must be equal to minus 1 and therefore we can write minus 1 by 5 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and this employee m2 is equal to 5. Now we have to find the equation of line cd therefore now equation of line equation of line cd is given by given by one point form y minus y1 what is the point point c is minus 3 comma 5 so y minus y1 that is 5 slope m2 that is 5 x minus x1 so minus 3 minus of minus 3 to be plus 3 i hope you got this point so y minus 5 is equal to 5x plus 15 and therefore 5x minus y, y will come this side and 5 will also come this side plus 20 is equal to 0 is the equation of line, is the equation of line. I hope you got it, okay. 
Now the next question is the question number 11 and in question number 11 a perpendicular to the line segment a perpendicular to the line segment to the line segment joining the points joining the points points 1 comma 0 and 2 comma 3 divides in the ratio divides it in the ratio in the ratio 1 is to n 1 is to n find the equation of line find the equation of line equation of line right a perpendicular line segment joining two points this and this divides in ratio 1 is to n it means here is a line and the line is like uh, say perpendicular segment is like uh, here is a line and this line there is a another line which is perpendicular to it and uh, passing through a certain point but we don't know which point they are passing but one thing it is given that here is a say this is point a and this is point b coordinate of a is 1 comma 0 and coordinate of b is say 2 comma 3 this is a point c line passes through this perpendicular to it but divide this one this line a b in ratio 1 is to n so using section formula we can find the coordinate of c isn't it and slope of a b first let us find out solution slope of line a b slope of line a b is what m1 is equal to 3 minus 0 y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 is 3 if line c p any line perpendicular to it so slope of line perpendicular to it slope of line perpendicular to a b is m2 which is given by m1 m2 is equal to minus 1 that is 3 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and therefore m2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 m2 is equal to minus 1 by 3 now we can find the coordinate of it. See, coordinate of C is given by coordinate of C. Coordinate of C is given by section formula. Section formula is what? Mx2 plus Nx1 upon M plus N. So 1 into 2 that is 2 plus N into 1 that is N upon 1 plus N. And Y coordinate is 1 into 3 that is 3. 3n into 0 that is 0 divided by 1 plus n this is the coordinate of point c now coordinate of point c is known slope of this line is known so we can find the equation of line so equation of line pc is therefore equation of line line pc that we have to calculate is given by given by y minus y1 y1 is what point c in which it is passes 3 upon 1 plus n so 3 upon 1 plus n is equal to slope and slope is minus 1 by 3 isn't it slope is minus 1 by 3 x minus x1 so x minus x1 is n plus 2 upon n plus 1 so we can simplify this n plus 1 into y minus 3 is equal to minus 1 by 3 n plus 1 into x minus n plus 2 right and whole divided by n plus 1 this side and whole divided by n plus 1 this side so that will be cancels now we can write it n plus 1 x this 3 will multiply this side and plus 3 times of n plus 1 into y minus 
3 times of 3 is 9 and uh, because this will come the side plus so it will be 3 times of 3 is 9 and this is minus minus plus and plus come in this side it will be minus n plus 2 is equal to 0 and therefore equation of line is n plus 1 into x plus 3 times of n plus 1 into y and minus n and this is minus 9 minus 2 minus 11 so we can write n plus 11 is equal to 0 this is the required equation of line i hope you got it so all of this a, what we have discussed here uh, i hope you got it and definitely you will be able to understand it so do revise it again and try to understand the concept behind perpendicular line and how to calculate it and uh, we will discuss after break some other questions also till then bye bye god bless